How to reset the throttle position sensor. Three quick secrets. In the old days of non-electronic carbureted engines, the only throttle position sensor was your right foot. Push a little, you go slow. Push a lot, you go fast. Now a computer decides how much fuel to inject into the engine, which means it needs to know what the driver wants. That's where the throttle position sensor comes in. When the sensor is damaged, accelerating the car becomes chaotic. Today we'll show you how to change it yourself. Middle. This vital sensor allows your engine to maintain an adequate amount of air. This feature depends on the throttle valve. When you press the accelerator pedal, the throttle body unit valve opens. This causes the throttle position sensor to adjust the engine's intake manifold accordingly. This small sensor is crucial for a proper air fuel mixture. It is integrated with the engine control module and helps maintain smooth idling and acceleration. This sensor is generally connected to the throttle blade shaft inside the throttle body where it can directly measure how open the throttle blade is at any given time. Different car manufacturers use different sensor designs and onboard software for its operation. Most modern vehicles have switched to a drive-by wire throttle input system, where the accelerator pedal is not physically connected to the throttle body. When this sensor is damaged or not functioning properly, it is important to replace it to restore your vehicle to its maximum performance and power. There is no single method to reset a throttle position sensor. Years ago, resetting a TPS involved using a multimeter to read the sensor output, while loosening the sensor and slightly turning it on its mounting platform to reach a certain output value. Most modern methods involve turning the ignition key on and off while pressing the accelerator pedal to the floor in a specific sequence. Others require specific diagnostic equipment to interact with the onboard computer. Secret 1. How to know when to reset the throttle position sensor. There are many symptoms of a damaged throttle position sensor. While some of these symptoms could also be signs of other engine problems, be on the lookout for these changes in a faulty TPS or throttle position sensor. The most common symptom is the check engine light. This indicator is a vague symptom, as it could also indicate a variety of problems, but you can expect to see it if there is any issue with the throttle position sensor. Another is the lack of acceleration. Any unusual change in acceleration could be related to this sensor. Consider inspecting your sensor if you experience any of these throttle position sensor symptoms. Hesitations during acceleration, lack of power, difficulty and or delay in shifting gears. Unusual surging when accelerating. Each of these symptoms could be a sign that the throttle position sensor is not functioning properly. Additionally, too much or too little airflow could result in poor acceleration performance, but it could also be related to other engine problems. If you notice a dramatic increase in fuel consumption, it could be the result of an improper air fuel mixture. Similarly, if your engine struggles to idle efficiently, it could also be due to a damaged throttle position sensor. Stalling, surging, or hesitation while idling can be caused by this simple sensor. The problem with the TPS is that the signs of trouble can also be confused with those of other failures. Still, you can diagnose it with a few steps. Read the trouble codes. Use an OBD2 scanner to read the trouble codes. Codes like P0121, P0122, or P0123 usually indicate problems with the TPS. Inspect the sensor and wiring. Visually check the TPS and its connections for damage, corrosion, or loose wires. Make sure the sensor is securely attached to the throttle body. Test the sensor voltage. Use a multimeter to test the TPS voltage while moving the throttle. The voltage should change smoothly as the throttle opens and closes, typically from around 0.5 volts when closed to 4.5 volts when fully open. A sudden drop or erratic reading indicates a faulty sensor. Check the sensor resistance. If the TPS is a potentiometer type, measure its resistance with the multimeter. Changes in throttle position should result in smooth and predictable changes in resistance. These steps can also help you determine if you need to repair, replace, or reprogram your sensor. Secret 2. How to reset the throttle position sensor. First, make sure the car is completely off and parked safely. Then just remove the key from the ignition and relax for a second. No rush. We're guiding you step by step. Reinsert the key but do not start the engine. Simply turn the ignition on so the dashboard lights up. You'll see all those warning lights flashing but don't worry, it's normal. Next we move to the gas pedal. Now things get a bit serious. Slowly press the accelerator pedal. It should take about 4 seconds. Release and press it to the floor once more. Hold it there for 3 seconds. Trust us. Do it smoothly and steadily. 
This whole process only takes about 7 seconds. Now gently release the accelerator pedal as slowly as you pressed it, taking about 4 seconds to lift your foot completely off, then repeat. Do this 2 more times. I know it may seem excessive, but skipping any part could disrupt the complete reset. Once you've done it 3 times, turn off the key and remove it from the ignition, giving it about 10 seconds. Reinsert the key, start the car, and pay attention to how the throttle responds. Is the engine accelerating more smoothly? Does the throttle respond faster when you press the pedal? If you notice a smoother and quicker response, the reset worked perfectly. The second method to reset the throttle position sensor is the battery disconnection method. This method is ideal for vehicles with electronic throttle control systems when the basic reset doesn't work. Be careful when handling the battery and do not leave the key in the ignition. Now to start safely, turn off the engine, then lift the hood and locate the battery. Use a wrench to loosen the nut on the black cable, which is the negative terminal. Once it's loose, carefully pull the cable off. Turn off the battery and make sure the metal doesn't touch anything to avoid short circuits. Leave the battery disconnected for about 5 to 10 minutes, allowing the system to reset and clear any residual electrical charge. Afterward, reconnect the black cable and tighten the nut. Then insert the key into the ignition and turn it to the on position, but do not start the engine. Let the dashboard lights run their checks. Now, start the car and let it idle for about 10 to 15 minutes without pressing the accelerator pedal. After idling, turn off the engine and restart. Check for improvements. If that doesn't solve your problem, don't worry. There's a slightly more complicated trick that might be exactly what your car needs. The third method is throttle position sensor reprogramming. This method is for vehicles with severe throttle position sensor issues. This method is what you need, but before attempting it, if you're not sure if your TPS is severely damaged, don't skip the next step. Make sure your car battery is in good condition, but still. And here's a quick tip. If you're not comfortable removing sensors, it's best to seek help to avoid any mistakes. If you decide to proceed, do this first. Turn off the engine and make sure it's cold. Don't rush this part, a hot engine can be dangerous. Now disconnect the negative battery cable using a wrench and wait for about 2 minutes. Then reconnect the cable, turn the key to the on position but wait. Pay attention when starting the engine because near the front of the car you should hear a soft hum coming from the throttle body. This means the throttle is learning its position. Be patient here, the hum usually takes 3-5 to five minutes to stop. Once done, turn the key to the off position and remove it from the ignition. We're almost done. Start the engine and let it idle for about 10 to 15 minutes to recalibrate the throttle. Don't skip this step as it's crucial for the system to adjust properly. Take the car for a short test drive to ensure the throttle response is smooth after resetting the throttle position sensor. Secret 3. Engine Cleaning Cleaning is the next key step to ensure your engine runs smoothly. The general rule is to clean it every 20,000 kilometers to prevent any issues. But here's something to keep in mind. Never use carburetor cleaner spray or gasoline. These chemicals can damage it. Instead, use a specialized solvent. It's effective and gentle, and the best choice for many car owners. Closure. We've just discovered how to reset the throttle position sensor. To get ahead of future problems, catch these early warning signs and save yourself from costly repairs. If you want to keep driving smoothly, give us a like and share the link to this video with your friends and contacts. Don't forget to activate the notification bell so you don't miss any of our updates.